Good morning, you guys. <laughs> this is the first time I looked at myself. Um, this morning's already starting off chaotic. I have a whole day planned of organizing, cleaning. I haven't done that in so long, so I'm very excited. As you can see, the house is kind of a disaster. Boxes, Christmas presents, car seat boxes everywhere. Like, it's just a mess. Hello. Hi, Bubby. You look so handsome today. What jersey are you picking? This one. What's the fit? Ooh, and look at those jeans. You look so nice in jeans. Don't you think? Yeah. You used to only wear joggers. Now he's been in a jean phase, which I love. I, I, I had to wear joggers because I play soccer. That's cool. We have football. Yes, true. But in the snow, I think jeans like are more appropriate, don't you think? Yeah, because then you're not... Anyways, um, I'm supposed to get a furniture delivery today, but it was supposed to be from 4 to 6 p.m. And it's actually happening today in 10 minutes and it's 9.40. So, so I'm just kind of stressed because I wanted to like clean up before they got here. That's why I planned cleaning all day today and then having them deliver at night. But whatever, it's fine. At least we're getting it, right? Also, Levi's freaking school canceled school for the like fourth time this year. Well, you're not canceled. You have a two hour delayed start. But Alea has like, kindergarten has school completely completely canceled on snow days. So she's not going to school at all and that's fine, but it just like puts, it changes my plans and you know, I struggle with plan changes, so. Plus I'm not gonna lie, I feel like it's a little dramatic. I mean, I know it's snowing outside, but we live in Utah, it snows every year. That's about how much we've gotten in the last two days. So like, I don't know, a foot and a half. You would just think we live in California and have never seen snow before because again, this is the fourth time they've canceled in the last like three weeks. But I guess it's nice because that means you get to get ready, huh? Uh -huh. Ooh, what do you got there? Oh, how cute. So is it like an advent calendar? Yes, Look, guys, who made this at school? It's like an advent calendar. Advent calendar. There's like candies this in each of them. Um... This is the expensive one. This is the day of Christmas. That's the day of Christmas. <laughs> Speaking of advent calendars, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I have completely forgotten about them. Bought them, I have all of them. One for each kid, in fact. But I literally last night went in the laundry room and saw them and was like, holy crap, I've been forgetting advent calendars. It's only because though we've been doing so many other activities like a Christmas bingo. Tonight we're gonna go see the lights. So we are doing Christmas related things and I feel really guilty at the fact that I've been missing out on the advent calendars, but life is just crazy. Okay guys. We need to wash our hair and get on a move. We've been slow. Come on. Of course, once I put them in the shower, they're here. Bad guys are real dumb. <laughs> All right, the other day I bought one of these magical mini waffle makers. I don't have any waffle mix or the things to like hand make my own mix. So we're gonna try to do it with eggs because you know, we're getting close to Christmas. We don't have time to mess around. Here goes nothing. Don't mess it up. Like how, oh, I didn't spray it. Oh, whoa, 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 yeah, no, not ready, girl. And are you supposed to flip it? Okay, okay, this is not going good. This is not going good. to school, got the kids fed breakfast. They're actually already on to a snack because kids just never stop eating. Also lip update, this is the only chapstick that works for my lips, which is ironic because the EOS brand I used to hate and it used to make my lips feel so weird, but I tried it again recently and it's the only one that's worked. Coconut oil just isn't cutting it anymore and these have got to be the absolute devil in disguise because every time I put it on, I think I'm like allergic to it, but the kids love it, so I keep it. Doesn't do anything to their lips. Obviously, I wouldn't keep something that made their lips like harmed. First organization project is this spice 
transfer situation. I got these during Black Friday on Amazon. I'll link them down below. They actually weren't on sale like I had hoped, but came with these really cute labels. There's 12 of these. I think I'm gonna need another 12 of these because that's not enough for all of this, but I think it's gonna look so much better. Also in here, they'll just fit better. <laughs> All right, a little after definitely looks so much better. I did have to handwrite a few, but you know what? You do what you have to, okay? I still am gonna need like 12 more. Okay, fridge reveal. I had to move this stuff around a million times. I've been working on it for like an hour, but I think I finally got it. I have our like most used condiments over here. Unfortunately, this area is always just gonna be ugly. I tried messing with it and I can't get happy with it. So this is how it's gonna be for now. And then I have kind of like my stuff, some treat stuff that you can't see from the front, which is key. And then these, we're actually gonna make these, I think tonight. So I don't have to worry about hiding those. But now I put all the stuff, like I used to have the cheese and stuff in there a second ago, but I decided everything down here, the kids can like grab. So obviously like snacks and then things like that, like after school snacks, the cheese, kids, literally my kids just will take a whole bite of this mozzarella block. And then hard boiled eggs, my kids to eat as a snack and then I need to get another one of these I used all my eggs this morning but I need to get I thought it came with two it only came with one so came came so I need to grab a second one and that will fit like perfectly I don't know that I'll actually use all of these so I kind of just left them in here for now and whatever I don't use I'll just take downstairs because it definitely came with a lot I'll leave the link down below where I got these it's the container store I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of that place but the starter kit or whatever is what I got and it came with so many. At first I was like, how big are people's fridges? Do I have like a mini fridge? But I got it to work and I think it looks really, really good. So my only recommendation would be if you get it, get more of these and less of the ones that you have to open from the top. On to our next thing. I was hoping these boxes would be gone by this time in the afternoon, but that's okay. One thing at a time. Next is Santa pictures. If you guys know, in the past couple years, I've been a perfectionist when it comes to these Santa pictures that pretty much nobody sees as far as like how they look, the colors they're wearing, all that. But this year, I decided to not ruin the fun for them and let them dress themselves. Avery's got all white going on with some cute Christmas bows. This girl is just an absolute rainbow. I'm not really sure the colors she's got going on, but that's okay. Levi, of course, a jersey. Are we even surprised? Alea over here, she's actually looking kind of festive. We have a sparkly bow and a red shirt and snow boots. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, there's just not enough time in the day to do everything that I want. And I've lived 26 years of life and I still can't seem to figure out my time management. So it's now bedtime. We've had dinner. We got home from Santa, which that was like a quick thing actually. But still just not enough time. I've gotten no cleaning done that I really wanted to. You ready to brush your teeth? Uh, ah, good girl. Uh, Best hack ever, you guys, this. I'm gonna link it down below. It's a nail scrubber, but watch. And just like that, the sink is toothpaste free. Also, this may be really weird to some people, but it like creates a soap because of the toothpaste. So then I clean up the rest of the countertops. No, this is not a disinfectant. I don't do this for like deep cleaning, but as a quick pick, pick me up or like a quick cleaning solution, I should say, that works wonders. One down. And not fourth down because this girl has insomnia and sleeps two hours a day. I don't know if we've ever mentioned this on like any channel, any vlog or anything. Maybe we have, but Alea has crazy insomnia. She sleeps, no joke, sometimes like two hours a day. Most nights it's more like six hours. She doesn't have iPad. It's not like she's overstimulated and can't relax. She's in her bed for like four to five hours at least before she goes to bed at night. And she goes to school, she plays outside, like all these things. It's just, or she falls asleep at night, not goes to bed. She goes to bed for like five hours before she falls asleep and she does things in the day, like she should be tired, she's just not. The doctor recommended magnesium, I believe. I wrote it down, I need to check because I actually talked to her doctor about it because I'm like, I know she needs to be sleeping, but she's not sleeping. 
So anyways, she's over there. She is good though now. She's used to like, she knows she has to stay in there. She can't do anything, can't play with anything. I used to let her have books and toys, but I realized that made the process even longer, which is so interesting because my other kids, if I give them a book, like they're done. But anyways, I'm finally working on this basement. I know I haven't talked a ton about like what I'm doing as far as decor and design and all that stuff goes with the house. I want to do actually like a, a full updated house tour. Obviously it's not fully decorated. It never will be. I feel like people are always adding more and stuff, but I definitely feel like it's closer. So if you guys are interested, let me know down below because I've been thinking about doing like a house tour. Um, but anyways, as far as the basement goes, I had a hard time deciding what I wanted to do with it down here. And I decided just to kind of make it like a movie area, which we've already started that. We've had that for a while since my dad helped me move in basically, but then I have my little desk area over there, which I'm actually gonna try changing right now. And then I just got these from Pottery Barn, so it's like things to organize their toys, because I've always used baskets, but I feel like it just, they can't get to the toys that they want. They also just don't see the toys they have. So I'm gonna try something different. I still have the basket concept, but they're much shorter and they'll go in like the bins and then not every square will have a bin, if that makes sense. You guys will see, but basically it's coming together. Also over here, I have this like arts and crafts area going. I have, I hung that way too high. Okay, ignore that was like stupid decorator of me, but I'm just gonna leave it because it left really giant holes up there. But I'm thinking I'm gonna put like, I don't know, maybe some letters there that say like play that I'll have the kids color. And then I was gonna put something on this wall, but because you don't see it from any angle unless you're sitting here, for now that's not a priority. But now I'm going to take all this stuff out, actually organize it, and then put all of their like homework stuff, their craft stuff, all of that, because right now all their craft stuff is in that room, which as you can see, thanks to Christmas, it's not very accessible. And also it's just like a storage room where like the water heater is and all that. So it's not the safest for the kids to go in and out of, which is okay. Cause it's like Play-Doh and paint and stuff. I don't want them to touch, but it really shouldn't be in there. There's like a whole closet. So I'm gonna use my space better basically. But yeah, I'm finally feeling like we're getting somewhere. I'm gonna hang family pictures and get all these walls filled up with decor because that is the hardest part for me with decor is wall space. I'm just not good at it. And I don't even know if I like these here anymore, but I already hung them, so I think I'm gonna leave them. Voila, it looks so good. We even still have a little bit of room, which is perfect for Christmas stuff. It looks a little cluttered right next to the tree, but obviously this is here like one and a half, two months out of the year, so I'm not really worried about that. all the books with extra room. I'm very happy about that. I've been shoving books into these for so long. I still like these. I think I'm gonna hold on to them for either like the kids' rooms or just the future because these ones are obviously way better quality, but these did work really well and I loved them. It just didn't fit very many books. Meanwhile, what in the freaking frack are you doing? I came in here once, she was up there. I came in here again, she was right there. I came in here again, she was looking at herself in the mirror. And now, here she is again. You need to sleep, baby, you have school tomorrow. Okay, it's officially 3.33 in the morning. I hate that I showed the time. And it's that time, because that just freaks me out. Isn't that like the devil's time or something? I don't know, anyways. I've spent the last long hours wrapping presents. And I'm so glad I did because I thought I had pretty much everything and I'm actually missing a few things. We have some gifts here that I need to get different um, box situations for and then whatever, figure that out. We got a shower curtain up in this bathroom finally. I'm gonna have to finish this tomorrow, but I think it looks so much better. We never use this shower just because obviously like we have the kids one and then mine. And I wanna put all like the guest stuff in here, but we got all the kids stuff settled, the couch. I don't know if I showed this, I moved the desks. Um, this isn't 100% how I want it yet. I wanna get another chair, obviously. Whatever, I will keep you guys updated. My mind no longer works and I need to go to bed because the kids have to wake up and are going to wake up in like three hours. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.